Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's a glorious day today. Really is lovely. I'm out on Rygate Heath. There's Rygate Heath windmill in the background, which we've done videos from before with the chapel underneath. It was built in 1765 and was used as a mill until 1880, and then converted later on into a chapel. I'll link those videos below. It's really fascinating, a chapel underneath an old windmill. Uh, today, because it's such a lovely day, 23 degrees, beautiful. I'm starting off here in Rygate Heath, uh, by the golf course, of course, and walking up to Buckland, through Buckland Village, which we've done videos from before, I know. Maybe have a look at the church. And then up Rectory Lane, and head up to the uh, railway crossing. Be a nice uh, couple of miles walk on this beautiful day. And uh, come with me, let's go. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we're on part of the Green Sand Way Trail, which is a long distance uh, trail in the south of England. The Green Sand Trail that intersects sometimes with the North Downs Way. Oh, it's only like 10.30. I'm really hot already, love it. Love hot weather, I'm not complaining. Okay, we're just walking along Shag Brook, which is a little river that goes into the River Mole. And it's here, which I've mentioned before in other videos, the legend of the Buckland Shag, which I'll link in the other videos below so you can see about the uh, local folklore of the Buckland Shag. This is a popular walking trail, so there's a lot of people about. That's why I'm on the GoPro. It's easier when you're out walking. You want to be a bit more inconspicuous. Um, yeah, people coming up behind me, and there's a load of ladies walking in front of me there. But we're coming up to the granary, which is wonderful. These uh, old buildings have been converted into cottages, and the lovely lady still lives there, who I remember seeing eight years ago. And she was on one of Richard Vogue's video about six years ago. And she's really friendly. Well, it's morning. So uh, let's go and have a look. There we go. Isn't this amazing? On this beautiful day. Isn't it fantastic? Look at that. Beautiful old buildings. What a lovely place to live. What a lovely place to live. There's a lovely dog there. Morning. Darling, you are right? Hello. <laughs> oh, bless. They're all very tired. Hello. Mum's the gardener, actually, so she's the one that's really good at it. Well, it's absolutely yeah. stunning. Oh, well, I'll, I'll tell her. <laughs> oh, that's amazing, wasn't it? Beautiful dogs, golden retrievers, and Labradors. Oh, I'm going to let people pass because um, I feel I'm on their heels a little bit. Of course, there's someone streaming a lawn. Oh, that's nice. Hollyhock. Is that Hollyhock? I think so. I don't know my fauna, I'm sure. There are people to uh, correct me, but I think it is a Hollyhock, isn't it? Otherwise, I'm going to look very stupid. There we go. 
someone drilling. I mean, drilling? Streaming, I mean. Yeah, there we are, public bridle way, the green sand way, it goes down there, or you can go up here, green sand way, along this rather overgrown path. But we're not doing that. Um, we're going back up to Buckland and then have a quick look around the church, which I've done before I know, but as I'm here, I like Buckland. The problem with Buckland though is you've got the busy A25 going through the middle of the village. That used to be the old, we'll actually show you a bit of the old Rygate Road before the A25 was there, which is called the Old Street. You have uh, <coughs> breathing in a load of petrol. Um, very narrow lanes here to get the vehicles down. We're now back in the village of Buckland. So all these videos will be linked below. I love Buckland, it's a lovely little village. I say, unfortunately you've got the noise of the A25 which will be coming up shortly. Nothing we can do about that. Sorry, the sun's in my face or in, on the lens. I just want to quickly show you another little gem in Buckland. The windmill, Buckland windmill, which was only rediscovered recently and then restored, which is just there. Joker's moon. <laughs> I love this old wall. And this gate I've been fascinated with for years. This old wooden gate. Which is just here. Don't know how old it is, but I always comment on it when I'm passing. Look at that. The old gate, look at that. So back at the Grade 1 listed St Mary the Virgin Church. I just got, this is the first time ever in probably seven years of doing this, I just got stopped by somebody saying, um, may I ask what, what, you're, what you're doing, what you're taking photographs of? And I just came clean and said, oh no, I, I do a YouTube channel about history and heritage, blah, 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 blah. And then it, it turned everything around. It was really, really uh, nice and we had a nice little chat about everything. Um, he said, we've had, a, we've had a few problems around here with breakings and that. So. Um, he was just being cautious, which I don't blame him at all, actually. We had a really nice chat. When you realise I've sort of, I meant well. <laughs> um, yeah, I've never really had that before. <laughs> so, um, especially when you're, say, you're on the GoPro and you're just doing it uh, discreetly, but you, you know, you still can be seen. But here we are. It's a Mary the Virgin Church. Built around 1308, with Victorian extensions, of course. Lovely. I mean, the way they've done all the flowers really does enhance the churchyard. Really does. Look, yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. The roses. And it's open. Isn't that wonderful. 
the outer door's open, there's a little mesh door to get in. Lovely. I've been in here for about, oh gosh, six, seven years. It's lovely. It's twinned with St Michael's Church in Betchworth, just down the road, which we've done loads of videos from. I love Betchworth. And um, it's lovely. Even now, with the, the road, the main road, just outside, you can hardly hear anything. You can hardly hear anything. It's lovely. I'm not going to go up because they probably don't want you to, but yeah, it's amazing. Look at that. There's been a church on this site well before 1086 when the Doomsday Book was done. This is mainly Victorian renovations. It's lovely. Very cool in here, outside of the heat of the sun. Ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Well, thank you, St Mary of the Virgin Church. Just a quick stop by. And uh, we shall continue the walk across the road, into the village, and then up Rectory Lane, up to the uh, level crossing. Let's go. The old schoolhouse, lovely old schoolhouse, now private residence. So you can't even hear the traffic from here. Lovely house there, 1838. And of course, this beautiful cottage. Isn't that lovely? Malt cottage. And we are going down Rectory Lane up to the level crossing. Out of curiosity, anyone else who does YouTube channels, have you ever been challenged when you've been out videoing? Let's stop saying filming by the way, people say we're out filming. No, we're videoing. Filming is celluloid. It's something completely different. Let's get the technique. I think we should change the, uh, the terms we use. We're out videoing. We're not filming, we're videoing. I know it's a sort of term that we use, but we're out videoing. But has anyone else been um, challenged at all? Oh, nice views there. Check that out, up to the Surrey Hills, up towards Rygate. And a biplane going overhead. At the time of this recording, it's uh, the summer solstice in the morning, longest day. Happy summer sol solstice to everybody. I know it's, uh, you'll be seeing this weeks after. And next week, I'm having a couple of days down in East Sussex again, around Wilmington. I'm staying in Alfriston in this tiny little shed. So I think I mentioned this on the video before. I'm looking forward to that. Do some videos around there near my birthplace, which was Eastbourne. Cows.
Look at that sky. There are clouds, but beautiful white clouds. Absolutely gorgeous day. We've got a string of nice weather coming. And it's looking good, I'd say, for East Sussex next week. Weather looking great. So uh, that's always a plus. Especially when you're filming, you want it to look good. Videoing. See? Hypocrite, Mark. Hypocrite. Oops, I was just signed a mow again. Glebe House. Okay. Be quiet. Here we are. Coming up to the level crossing. This is a main mainline track. There's some lovely views up to the uh, Betchworth Quarry. Of course. As I said before, location of the 1975 Doctor Who story, Genesis of the Daleks. Just a wealth of information, aren't I? Let's have a little walk up. Never been up here before, so this is all, all new. CCTV, if quite rightly. Oh, here we go, we're going to have a train coming through. Look at that. That was good timing. Just wait for the train to come through. Lovely old train station, look at that. Isn't that lovely. And it pretty much ends here. There is a nice little trail here that takes you back up to the up to the downs. Yeah, Buckland Crossing Cottages. This is someone must live here now. That's lovely. What a glorious setting. Have a look at that. So there you go. Nice little walk from Rygate Heath by the golf course and the uh, windmill up to Buckland Village, into the church and then up Rectory Lane. Up to the lovely Uh, train station here now, cottage. Yeah, it's been lovely. Um, we're now going to go down to the down to Betchworth, into the Red Lion and Old Cellars pub, which I've never been to before. I've been to the Dolphin in Betchworth Village, but never been to this one, so it looks great. A nice pub lunch, and um, yeah. Oh God, so I'm just enjoying the vitamin D. It's lovely. Uh, but let's uh, let's head down. Let's go. Well, that was really nice. Oh God, I had a, a, a beef, mushroom, and owl pie. Really nice, really nice. Locally sourced food, fantastic hosts. Really nice in the Red Lion and Cellar Rooms pub in Betchworth. 
So uh, on this gloriously warm day, I hope you enjoyed the video. A nice uh, walk from Rygate Heath up to Buckland, up to the railway crossing and here for lunch. Please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff, you know, you know, you know the, the drill. And we'll see you next time. Take care.